It's February 2022, and it's about 4 o'clock in the morning in Poland. Then the phone rings. Stop the show. Now, I know whoever is calling me is not in Poland or in Uganda. This person is in the States, and it's Kevin Samuels. Now, stop the show. For those of you guys who can't vouch for it, but people like the lead attorney in mediocre tutorials and reviews and Dennis Sperling knows. When Kevin calls you, he expects you to stop everything that you're supposed to be doing and talk to him. So I'm like, what's up, Kevin? Hey, man. Yeah, man, what's going on, man? You know, got something to talk to you about. And that conversation was pretty interesting. Kevin was trying to woo me to Atlanta. Now, Kevin had already started blowing up and at that time was already blown up. And Kevin part-time was um, in a Facebook group and he had, he had been matching people, especially amongst the higher socioeconomic African-American class. People like Dennis Sperlin met his wife through Kevin and things like that. So what I proposed to Kevin Samuels was to bring the vision of matchmaking that he was doing and what I had attempted to do on my Kangana channel um, a while ago and create a separate channel, which would, you know, bring both of our best worlds together. And that channel became, can I get a dun, 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 sound effect, Dima? The Pan-African Dating Show. Now, most of you guys have heard about this particular channel. It's a channel that um, I've been working on since the beginning of this year. Shout out to Brother Maurice November for helping us, uh, you know, out with the logos and everything like that. But pretty much it is inspired by Kevin Samuels himself. And I'm gonna do a video on that on Christmas day, me and our staff, because without Kevin's um, ideas and input, we would never have the Pan-African Dating Show. Now he didn't come up with that name, but a lot of the concepts that you're seeing are really what Kevin wanted. He wanted black interaction between um, intelligent black people having fun, meeting and coming together. And he also wanted to be able to put this out on a high quality level, which is why he recruited me to bring the Pan-African Dating Show to Atlanta. And me and SPK were on our way. In fact, SPK, who's one of my editors, and I would say one of my uh, producers of my content here on YouTube, was already living in Atlanta. The only issue was, unfortunately on May 5th, Kevin Samuel passed away. And that was the end of that door and that collaboration. And of course, I felt like you know, maybe I will let this kind of project go since he's no longer going to be, you know, um, you know, help me with it. But we continued on to create the Pan-African Dating Show channel. And in the first three episodes, I would say it's a very great success. We have 17,000 views, 13,000 views, 59,000 views and 5,000 views. And in, uh, in the first 22 hours. And basically what we do there is some blind dating. We match people up from the diaspora. We do African-Americans. We are going to have Caribbeans. We're going to have everybody all over the world. And it's produced at a high level. I thought that, you know, when we put this show out, we wanted to make sure that it was at a high quality level that, you know, the black community could be um, proud of. You know, we didn't want to give you guys a piece of trash show with low quality and stuff like that. And then speaking of that, I got this comment from this particular uh, guy. Uh, I will call him an idiot. And I, I think this is interesting, right? Because whenever you want to do something for black people, um, you know, we always think that outside groups are going to be the ones that are hating. But no, it's not the outside groups. Unfortunately, it'd be the people in the community themselves. And in this case, we have what I will call a particular sellout, brother. All right. Now, Let's go to this particular, actually stop the show. Rewind, Dima. Let's go back to five days ago. There's a gentleman by the name of Omar Blake. And he says, I'm a Jamaican Trinidadian, live in the United States. How can I get on the show? Now, that's important right there, right? Because a lot of people want to now come on the show because they see a black dating show. They see that it's not trashy. They see it's not, you know, disrespecting people. So they want to be a part of this new community. Then you have this idiot. His name is Nub Glory. Dima, sad music. O'Shea oh, Duke Jackson, it would be greatly appreciated if you created a dating show for competent black American men in Northern European women, Denmark, Norway, Sweden, England, Northern Germany. Culturally speaking, competent black American men have much more in common with these women than they have with African women from developing nations. Stop the show. So now we have an extreme brother who is selling out. So instead of keeping 
the show that we created for our community that eventually will bring in money. It will create meet and greets. It will create income. It will create all kinds of things that, you know, it will bring a community together to get, get brothers and sisters business contacts. This is what the black community needs. Stuff like this. It's on a high level. Like we've created it for our community. We need to keep it. Now you have a guy saying, let's take your particular skill set and let's take it and get some white women in the building and bring all the high end black men to the white women of countries that are already rich and probably don't even need to meet you black men. So here's what I responded. Angry Mr. Dino. It would be greatly appreciated if you do it yourself. I am not a sellout. I will leave that. Hmm, I will blur that part out, right? <laughs> I will blur out. I will leave that boom buffooning for you to do. Can I get a ooh sound effect? <laughs> so then the guy starts talking trash, of course, saying that, um, you know, I forgot the comment, but He's pretty much like, you know, we have more in common with, with these white women than other women. And so I said this again, angry music. Then you create the show if you're so talented. If you want to build a product for your white wives, who is stopping you? Why are you asking a pro black to help you build something for your white women, brother? You competent black men cannot even build anything of substance for yourself, let alone for the white women you claim to love. Now, that wasn't all black men, right? But what I've noticed is that whenever you're trying to do something from the black community, it's either either you damned or if you don't. Now, let me just say this. I've never asked nobody to help me fund this show. I don't have no GoFundMe for it. I don't have no Patreon for it. When I go to Kenya or if we're going to South Sudan or if we're going to Nigeria, which we were at, if we we're in Rwanda, which we we're at, any of these places that I'm scouting, I'm paying it from the money that I make for my own personal businesses. And I'm not asking you, brothers and sisters, to support me on any of that. OK, now, secondarily. Because it's for the black community, here you have this buffoon, all right, wanting us to go and recruit white women who are not even our people to meet, match up with these guys who won't, who are not even offering to pay any money. Like me going to these foreign countries to meet these white women for these dudes who not even giving no money or offering no money to do it. Stupid. But we can keep this kind of stuff in the community ourselves and elevate our community and our people and keep the money circulating with our group. Okay, here's what the idiot says. Since you have a large platform and you're one of the founders of the Black Manosphere, the likelihood of a dating show that features white women and competent black American men started by you, O'Shea, being successful is very high. But since you are choosing to focus on race instead of cultural comability, I will start a dating show that helps Scandinavian women and competent black American men find each other for marriage marriages. Oh, by the way, we are competent black American men who will not only build strong black American communities with the Nordic women in our lives, but we will also create, along with the Scandinavian women who are our helpmates, a much better world than the one that we live in now. And this, this is like buffoonish and, and ridiculous because if you were going to build that, why are you asking me to build the dating show for you when you know that I don't even rock like that? And the, and, and the majority of the guys that talk like this, that go out and talk about, you know, we're going to go out with these white women and have a better society. Black men as a whole are still devastated. I don't even know how these black men's lives actually become any better because when you have to go to somebody else's community to get their women and i don't begrudge you for that but you don't even invest in your own community you don't even build up where you have with your own people which you have an advantage of like that's the whole situation you actually have the advantage of the black community just like an african brother would have the advantage and knowledge of his community you know what works in your community and what can bring in resources but when you totally deny the investment in your own community not only can you do you not benefit off of your own talent you also lose money as an opportunity cost but again we always have these brothers that white is right or the white woman is goddess and all kind of other stuff instead of dealing with your own people creating stuff for your own individual uh, groups to bring resources to your community so that way your women would actually respect you or the men in your community would actually respect you but we have too many self-defeated brothers like this who want to take something that's male for blacks and go and give it to somebody who don't even need you like nordic women swedish women Norway is one of the richest countries in the world. Why? Because they invest in their people. That's something that the brothers like this guy don't do. Sweden is rich. They invest in their people. Germany invests in their people and their communities. And these brothers talking like this do not invest into nothing. Don't build anything for anybody. But here you are going to talk about a brother that's trying to build something for the Pan-African dating community. And now you want me to break that over there? Like this is why some of the black men out here and black women are swirling are self-defeated people. 
Stop the show. Dima, I know you wanted a fun episode. I hope this is good enough for you. But guys, what do you think? Stop the show again. Make sure you check out the Pan-African Dating Show at the first comment to the top. Check out our platform. Um, support what we are doing if you can. We don't have any cash apps or anything like that. Um, just share our stuff. I mean, we'll get our money on the back end one of these days. All right, guys. Thank you so much, and we're out. Thank you.